Hello and welcome to this video of the course Answers at Solving in Practice. I am Javier Romero and here we are going to do the exercise on Clark's completion and loop formulas of the axiomatic characterization part of the course. Here we are given some normal programs P that we have here and for each of them we have to find the Clark's completion, the positive dependency graph, the loops, the loop formula, and once this is done, we should find all the models of the completion and all the stable models of P. Good, so before we start, as usual, let's go and have a look at the slides that are relevant for this exercise. So the first one is this one here, where we have the definition of the program completion, which is defined like here. And next to this, you have here an example of a logic program and its completion. And then something that it's important is also to have a look at this slide that tells us that the models of the completion, those are called supported models. And this, it's important also this sentence that tells us that every stable model is a supported model of P. Right, so then what we are going to do in the exercise is find the models of the completion, that is the supported models, and then given that every stable model is a supported model, we will select among those supported models which are stable. And then here we have the definition of the positive atom dependency graph of the program, where basically the nodes are the atoms of the program. And then for every rule, if in the head we have the atom A, and in the positive body we have an atom B, then there's an arc between B and A, there's an edge between B and A. In the slides you will find many examples of this. But here, just, I'm going just through the, the relevant definition. Here we have the definition of a loop. So well, here you have the, the technical definition, but basically we will the dependency graph and we we look for the loops in that graph and, and then a loop is just a set of the atoms. Like it's formally, we represent a loop by the set of the atoms that belong to the loop. Good, and then, here we have the definition of the loop formulas of the program. So for every um, loop that we have, we add this formula that is defined here. And this formula uses the external support. So basically it says that if one of the atoms in the set of atoms L holds, then one of the bodies of the rules of the external support must hold. And the external support of a set of atoms is defined here. And this is simply <coughs> the set of rules such that the head belongs to the set, but the positive body has no element from the set L. Good, and let's see if there was something else here, yes. So then, okay, as I said before, in the exercise, first we are going to find the supported models or the models of the completion. And then once we have those, so if X is a supported model, then X is a stable model if and only if X satisfies the loop formula, right? Then what we are going to do is to first find the supported models and then to check which of those are stable, we just have to see which of them satisfies the loop formula that we have done in a, at this point, we will have done that in a previous part of the exercise. Good, so then here I just wanted to highlight the slides that are relevant to the exercise. And of course, if you have not studied this part, please go and have a look at the slides and the videos where Torsten explains all this very well. And now then let's start with the exercises. Ciao.